Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be giving you all a two month update on my jungle aquascape aquarium. I can't believe this aquascape's been running for two years now. It was originally set up back in February 2020, just before the lockdowns happened. It's been really interesting to watch how this tank's evolved over the past two years. For quite a simple aquascape, it's changed quite a lot. Over the past month, this aquascape got a little bit neglected. I've been a bit busy over the past few months and haven't had the time to look after this aquarium properly. So now I think it's a good time to clean up this aquarium and make it look a lot better again. Before we start cleaning the aquarium, I just want to show you guys the red root floaters that have been growing on the surface of my aquarium. At the moment, they're not looking very red because I'm using quite a low light setting, but there has been a lot of good growth for them. These floating plants cover quite a lot of the surface of the water now. I'll be taking half of them out just so that all the other plants get enough light. So now I'm just going to remove all the floating plants just to make the whole maintenance process a lot easier. These red root floaters do a really good job at using up any excess nutrients in the water column. Without these plants in my tank, I think the algae outbreak would have been a lot worse. It's been about two months since I cleaned my home fin and green carpet. I like to use a turkey base just to gently agitate any debris and detritus that are stuck in the carpet. As I'm doing this, you can see a lot of debris and detritus then get kicked up into the water column. And then once all this floating matter is in the water column, I can then siphon it out and remove it later. I mentioned earlier my setup has been running for about two years now. I have noticed that my ADA aqua soil powder has now started to break down a little bit, which leads to more debris and tritis being needed to be cleaned out of the aquarium. Now it's time to tackle all the algae growth growing in the glass of the aquarium. To clean it I'll be using this algae razor blade scraper. This scraper makes cleaning the glass so easy. As we clean the glass and get rid of all that algae the whole aquarium starts to look a lot better. I was actually quite surprised to see how much algae grew in this aquarium over the past month. I didn't expect it to be this bad, but it was quite easy to clean in the end. With most of the algae now removed from the aquarium, I'm going to use a toothbrush just to go around all the finer details of the aquarium. The toothbrush does a really good job at cleaning the corners of the aquarium. I'm going to now move on to trimming all the crypts in the aquarium. My goal with trimming the crypts is just to get rid of any leaves that have any algae on. It's better to cut these leaves off early before they start to die and rot away in your aquarium. You may notice this little crick growing in the foreground of the aquarium. It's sprouted quite far away from the mother plant so I'm going to replant it near the rest of the other cryptocrannies in the mid ground. With most of the maintenance now done it's time to add new water back to the aquarium. This fresh new water that's been added to the aquarium will dilute any excess nutrients in the water column. Overall, this is going to make all the fish, shrimp and plants in the aquarium very happy. That's pretty much all the maintenance now done for this aquarium. At the moment the water is looking a little bit cloudy because of some of the debris and detritus are floating around. In a few hours time the filter will do its job and clear the water up for us. Compared to where we first started, this jungle aquascape is looking a lot better now. Cleaning all that algae off the glass made a huge difference. It's actually nice to be able to see and look into the aquarium again. Over the past two years this aquascape has changed so much. It'll be interesting to see how it develops over time. One thing I still need to do is re-add the floating plants back to the aquarium. I'll show you guys that in just a moment. The last thing I need to do is re-add the red root floaters back to the aquascape. I'm only putting about a quarter of the original amount in. Because it grows so quickly this plant will soon take over the surface of my aquarium again. I think this has got to be one of the easiest floating plants I've ever kept. It's not demanding at all and doesn't really need much fertilizer or light to. I think it's a great plant for beginners who haven't kept plants before. After a few hours you can see the water's cleared up a lot better now. It's looking a lot clearer now which is really good to see. This is the longest I ever kept an aquascape going. I'd usually keep an aquascape running for about a year before I tear it down. So by having this one set up for two years is quite an achievement for me. I just kind of wish it looked like how it was a year ago when it was at its peak. Back then the crypt spread out all the space really well and even the dry plant tried and grew pretty tall too. If you guys remember a few months ago I had a massive breakdown in this aquascape, which caused a lot of the crypts and the dry plant tried to die off, but now I'm starting to see signs of good recovery again. It will probably take another year for it to get back to how it was, but I think this aquascape is probably going to be teared down very soon. So that's all I've got to show you guys for this update. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos.